Welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to create an Ubuntu virtual machine in Azure Cloud. So we are going to pick up Ubuntu 20.04 virtual machine in Azure Cloud. As you all know that 18.04 will eventually go away. So let's quickly learn how to create a Ubuntu 20.04 in Azure Cloud. So how do you get started? So you need to have an Azure account subscription. Okay. So if you don't have one, you can click on this particular link. So if you're new to Azure, so you need to have your Azure Cloud account. So when you create your Azure Cloud account, so that will automatically create a free subscription for you. So any resources you are creating in Azure Cloud, so everything will be under that account subscription. So basically, so this is a subscription. So I don't have a free trial. I have upgraded my free trial account into pay as you go. So basically this is your subscription, right? So any resources you are creating, everything will be under under your subscription okay awesome so let's get started so this is my website guys coachdevops.com i have posted all the instructions over here and i will also post this link right below the video as well awesome so let's get started so we are going to learn how to create a virtual machine so basically this is my azure account or azure portal okay so you can click on virtual machine so we want to create a ubuntu 20.04 virtual machine so how do you do that it's very simple so and the first step would be you need to have a resource group so if you don't have a resource group and then you can create a new one so basically anything you are creating in azure cloud yes you need to have a subscription under that you need to have a resource group right so basically you can group all your resources it could be your virtual machine it could be your app services it could be your acr or it could be your kubernetes cluster any resources you are creating in azure cloud you would be group grouping under a resource group okay so let's create a new one so I want to call this as my dev, let's say this is my dev environment. So I can call this as a my dev RG. Okay, say okay. And then you have to give a name. So let's say I want to create um, my Azure VM. So you can give any name. So let, let me call this as a my Azure VM. And then this is a region. So depending on where you are, you can select. So I'm based out of Texas. So I'm going to select this one, Central US. Uh, I'm not going to touch these because these are all not mandatory. I know this this is like a very simple demo purpose, so I don't want anything fancy. So I'm gonna go with, uh, with with all the default options there, and then the image. So this is what we are interested in, right? So we want to select Ubuntu Server 20.04, 18.04 will eventually go away. So I want to go with this option. So select that one, uh, and then this is fine. Uh, 64 is fine, totally fine. I'm going to go with that. And then the sizing. Uh, so since this is for a demo purposes, so I'm going to go with uh, two gig. But again, you know, depending on your requirement, you can go with uh, you know higher higher sizes as well. So if you want, you can see all the sizes over here. So let me select that one, and then we have to select our SSH keys because that is how we are going to connect. So this is recommended if you want to SSH into your VM if you want to securely connect to your VM without password. So you have to go with this. Don't select password. That's that's a very, uh, it's not a recommended way of connecting to your, your virtual machine uh, using a password. So you want to go with a password less. So let's go with that option. Okay, and then you can select uh, what is the name of your key and all. So I want to select my uh, Azure VM key. Okay. And uh, I might have that key already, so let me go with the unique name. Okay, so let me select that key name. Okay, fine. And then I'm okay with uh, port number 22 because we want to SSH into it. So you must open port number 22. So, so leave it like that. Okay, and then as you can see here, there are a lot of options for you, right? So let's try to explore these options. Uh, but most of them are like a default option, okay? So as you can see here, networking, right? So you can, if you want to open up additional port number, you can do. Uh, but I would re definitely recommend this option. If you see here, so when you delete your VM, you want to delete the public IP and then all the things associated with it, right? So select this one, so that's good to have. So management, everything is default, that's fine. Okay, I don't want to have backup or anything like that. And then monitoring, 
Um, so again, I'm going with the default one, but if you don't want anything, you can go with the disable. This is also fine. Okay, uh, this will definitely increase your VM's performance if you, when you disable that. Okay, advanced, this is fine. So if you want to pass on anything, right, while while booting up booting up the VM, so you can you can set them up. Maybe we can cover this in a separate uh, video. So this is just for the tagging. So if you want, you can say uh, my Azure, uh, you know, you can say my name, you can say my Azure VM, right? Okay, so that's it. Uh, let's click on review and create. So this is going to review whatever we have, uh, you know, selected. There you go. So validation passed. So everything is looking good. Okay, so you can quickly validate over here. And then let's click on create. So now it is asking us to download the SSH key. So you have to do that. So click on download. There you go. So it downloaded the keys. Perfect. So now as you can see here, it is in the process of uh, creating the VM. VM got created. So click on virtual machines. So that's your virtual machine. Or, or you can also click on the resource group as well. So if you remember, this was the resource group what we had created. So when you click on the resource group and it will show you all the resources underneath, including the VM, including the public, public IP address, SSH keys, so as, as I was telling you earlier, all the resources would be would be grouped under a resource group, right? So this is very easy for you to clean up. All you have to do is just click on the delete resource group. If you want to clean up all the resources underneath that group, uh, including including the group will be deleted, right? So this is very easier for you to manage, okay? All right, so now let me show you guys how to connect to that VM. So click on the VM and we want to connect using SSH keys. So click on SSH, there you go, right? So now they have given all the steps what we need in order for us to connect from our local machine. So I'm going to open my SSH terminal. So I'm going to use item because I'm using MacBook. So type item here, so there you go. So I'm going to use uh, my item to connect to uh, my VM. So I'm actually already in downloads directory. So that is where I have downloaded my SSH keys. So if I want, I can show you here. So there you go, you see here. So this was the key what we have downloaded, but as you can see here, this is read, read and write only, right? So this has that access, but as per the instructions here, so we need to ensure that our SSH key should have, you know, read only access. So how do I change it? So you can use change mode command to change that. So I'm going to copy this particular command, change mode 400, and then I'm going to paste this, okay? There you go. So now if I see that, there you go. See, right? I only have read-only access. Perfect. Okay? So how we can connect using SSH keys into our VM? So I do have this mini diagram. If you see here, this is as, this is our laptop. So this is our VM running in Azure Cloud. So how are you going to connect to it securely? So we are going to use our SSH keys, right? So that's exactly what we are trying to do. Okay? Awesome. So, so what is the next step? So we we did the change mode command. The next thing is, you know, we need to connect to it. So we need to make sure we are we are we are in the location where our keys are. So I'm already in the downloads directory. So all we have to do is, you know, perform this SSH command. So SSH minus I, and then we are going to mention the key name, which is that. And then if you see here, we just have to say the username and then what is the public IP. Perfect. Enter. So just type yes to continue connecting. Wow, there you go. You see it now? So this shows that I'm connected to my VM running in Azure Cloud. Right? So yeah, so that's it, guys. You know, that's how you would set up a VM in Azure Cloud, and that's how you can connect from your local machine into, into a VM running in Azure Cloud. Awesome, folks. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you so much.